Hey guys, it's Brad, the My Way Shop. Hey, we're hanging out tonight working on the uh, Ford XL. We're actually working on the chassis part tonight. Um, I need to get the brake line in here and the fuel line in here along that frame rail and up over and etc. tied in so that uh, as soon as I complete a few items on the body over there, I'll be able to put the body onto this chassis and get the whole thing down to the body shop for its first bit of paint jams and all that. So I haven't been working so hard on it the last week. I get no more than a week because I was way out of town working for a week and uh, we had to attend our cabin and do some things there and you know life gets in the way sometimes of all these projects but uh i like sharing with you guys and i like some of the comments i get from everybody and uh it's much appreciated anyway so tonight we're working on this brake line and i just want to show you guys kind of what you know i have ideas and then other days i have ideas so as you can see i got it you know relatively close to contoured here to the exact same and so other than a couple areas where I did with my fingers uh, it's mostly almost perfect and so what I've done is as I go along you can see I got tie wraps so I chose to start at the the 90s here and uh, I've already I've already formed this end it's quite a little bit of forming there I'm going to show you the other end quick before my battery dies Okay, so uh, what I'm doing here, and it, what the trick I'm finding is, so I'm, I'm keeping my, my new line on top here, because my outside groove is my for my 3 16 And then I'm keeping my old tube under, and I'm, and I'm actually throwing it into the quarter inch groove. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. So essentially I've got both pipes in a groove there so you know uh, that's given me the angle of the bend that's given me the the exact uh, form of that bend so basically I'm just using the old tube to form the new tube and after I bend this 90 then I'll tie it again and then I'll put switch positioning in my bender and I'll bend that up at an angle just like it is there and then I'll tie that and then I'll use my bender and I'll just carry on until I'm finished here and the last one is not easy because it's a complete 180 there but anyways just want to show you guys what I'm up to working on the Ford Galaxy XL 500 so that we can get some paint going on okay Thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate any viewers that are out there for me. And uh, if anybody watching and you know you want to see some further projects later on here, uh, just keep an eye. Throw your notifications uh, bell on there, and hopefully we'll talk to you in the future. Thanks for hanging. Over and out. Good night.